Hey, I'm Guido and I want to show you guys today how BitMEX works. BitMEX is actually the biggest um, futures trading platform for cryptocurrencies. So everyone who really wants to be serious um, in trading cryptocurrencies and especially Bitcoin um, needs to have a BitMEX account and probably needs to trade there because the platform has the highest um, liquidity when it comes to cryptocurrencies. We can actually see that when we go to coinmarketcap.com and look at the exchanges and the trade volume, we can see that um, the trading volume on BitMEX in the past 24 hours was more than 3 billion euros, uh, dollars. And when we compare that to Binance, the biggest um, cryptocurrency spot exchange, um, it's almost three times as much as on Binance with 1 billion US dollar traded in the past 24 hours. If you don't have a BitMEX account yet, um, feel free to use the link down below. And with the link, you can save 10% of the trading fees in the first six months of trading. So it's actually quite a good deal. And all you need to sign up for BitMEX is an email address and a password. Um, you can't use fiat currencies to trade on BitMEX but you have to use um, Bitcoin in order to trade on BitMEX. That's why you don't need a KYC process um, in order to use the platform. So all you need is basically your email address. Once you are signed up and um, you get access to the platform and um, the dashboard basically looks like this. I will um, show you everything in a minute. But first of all, if you want to trade on BitMEX, um, you need to send Bitcoins to BitMEX. And if you want to do that, you just need to click on account and then you can go to deposit. And then you can see a Bitcoin address that you can use to send your Bitcoins to. And the same if you want to withdraw and Bitcoins, you just need to click on withdraw and enter a destination address where they should send the Bitcoins to and enter an amount and then press submit and you will receive um, your Bitcoins back. Um, it's important to know your de deposits um, will be available almost immediately. Um, so it takes a couple of network confirmations. So it usually takes an hour or so until you can trade on BitMEX when you send um, Bitcoins to the platform. Um, it's different with withdrawals. Um, withdrawals happen once a day on BitMEX. So it's actually at 1 p.m. UTC. So um, if you submit a withdrawal, you have to wait until 1 p.m. UTC until the withdrawal is um, released <coughs> or sent to you. So let's have a look at the trade options on BitMEX. And therefore I will remove um, the screen. And now we can see the chart here. And right now we can see the Bitcoin chart. And then we have um, the order book and the visual visualization of the order book and the recent trades. And we can see our positions here. And first of all, we have different contracts on BitMEX. So the most popular contract is, contract is actually the perpetual futures contract. So it's a futures contract of Bitcoin with an unlimited um, time. So you actually don't have um, a set date when the contract will expire. Um, then we have um, the quarterly futures contract, um, which ends three months from now, and we have a half a year um, contract that ends six months from now. But however, the most popular one is a perpetual futures contract. Um, if you want to trade here, um, you first need to send Bitcoins to the platform and then you can actually buy um, contracts and the contracts are measured in USD. 
And if you want to place an order, we have different options to place an order. We have first a limit order. A limit order is basically an order where you can submit a limit price. So the price for which you want to buy or sell the underlying asset or the contract. And then we can do a market order. And with the market order, the order will be executed immediately to the best available price um, that you can get um, on the market. And then we have uh, stop market orders and um, where you can um, buy or where you can basically set a stop limit or stop loss order in order to reduce um, your risk. <clears throat> um, let's stick with the market order. Um, if we want to do a market order, we can just um, type in how many contracts we want to buy. Let's say we want to buy uh, contracts um, currently worth 1,000 euro, uh, US dollar. So we can just type in 1,000 US dollar. And then we can select which margin or leverage we want to use. For example, here it's 1 to 10. Could also use 1 to 50 or 1 to 1. And it's important to know that um, for the higher margin or higher leverage, um, your risk of um, liquidization will increase um, substantially. So let's say you have a um, leverage of 1 to 10. And that basically means um, if you want to buy um, the Bitcoin price currently is at 1,300 US dollars. So let's assume you want to buy contracts worth um, 83,000 euros. Um, you only need to have around one Bitcoin in your portfolio, <clears throat> but you have a very high risk to get liquidated because if the price drops by less a bit less than 10%, and um, you will be liquidated and your Bitcoin is gone. Um, if we compare that to a leverage of 1 to, fi one to 5, um, the price needs to drop to um, 20% or needs to drop 20% in order to be liquidated. <clears throat> so you have um, way more security if you have a lower leverage. So let's assume you want to buy now contracts, all you have to do is basically um, select limit or market order. We will start with the market order here and we will say, okay, I want to buy contract worth 100 US dollar. And we can either go long, meaning we assume that the price will go up or we can go short, uh, meaning that we will assume the price will go down. Then we need to click on sell market. If we think the price will go up, we click on buy market. I will do a sell market now, so I will short the market. And you can basically see I shorted the market here. You can see my position here. I have an entry price of 8,340 US dollar per Bitcoin. I basically bought 100 um, contracts worth 100 US dollar. And that's worth 0 0.01 Bitcoin. And we can see here the market price. That's basically an average price <coughs> of Bitcoin that is calculated um, with other exchanges like Coinbase and Kraken. So they take the average price of these exchanges and calculate a market price. And they use the market price, for example, um, when it comes to liquidation. So if you will get liquidated, they will use the market price and not the entry price. And that... Um, is in order to make sure that um, the wicks here don't liquidate you. <clears throat> and then you can see here your unrealized profit and loss. And you can actually see here your realized profit and loss. So for example, they will add here and um, when you pay um, for the market order, the fees for the market order, for example, and then you need to pay funding every eight hours. And so if the funding is positive, like it is here, you basically um, pay funding when you are long, in a long position. I'm in a short position right now, so I would receive money every eight hours. 
because um, the funding is positive right now. If the funding would be negative, I would actually pay funding in order to be in my position. So you can actually make money, even if it's very less, than just being in a position. <clears throat> Depending how the funding is, is it positive or negative. So now, if you want to cancel your position, you just have to um, either close the position with a market order, that's when you click here, or you can say, okay, you want to close the position if the price drops to a certain um, value. And we want to close the position now with the market order. All we have to do now is um, click market, and then the position is closed. So that's basically um, the first things and the most important things you should know about BitMEX. If you have any questions about it, feel free to use um, the comments down below. And if you want to save 10% um, of the trading fees in the first six months, feel free to use the link to sign up to BitMEX. And that's it. Um, thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.